Hey guys, it's Luke, your digital concierge here at Gramophone. Today we're going to take a look at two legendary pairs of Sony headphones. The triumphant WH-1000XM3 and their very promising successor, the WH-1000XM4. Released in August of 2018, the Sony XM3 became the go-to headphone for many people in its price category thanks to its excellent blend of comfort, features, and sound quality. But that has changed now with the release of the XM4 that brings many quality of life improvements to the table, as well as some feature updates as new technologies have come out. And if you want to know about every single one of those points, be sure to check out our video dedicated solely to the XM4. We'll have a link for it down below. For this video though, we want to take a look at the differences between the XM3 and the XM4 and see what you get that's new. And we're going to do a comparison of how these headphones stack up against each other for the everyday user who's looking for that blend of excellent sound quality, long-term everyday comfort, and an overall great user experience. But don't forget guys, we don't want to see you miss out. So make sure you subscribe to the Gramophone channel because we're going to have way more exciting product highlights and comparison videos just like this one. And we'll see you there. Both of these headphones are have active noise canceling. With active noise canceling on, you can expect 30 hours of battery life. Best case scenario with it off, you can expect around 38 hours of battery life. They both have quick charging through USB-C. 10 minutes of charge nets you five hours of playback. Really, really convenient feature right there for both of them as well. They each have an integrated microphone for making and receiving calls as well as doing voice recordings. However, there's a bit of a difference in mic quality between the two, and we've done a little test here so you can hear the difference for yourself. This is the level of sound quality you get with the microphone on the XM3. This is the test for the microphone quality in the XM4. One thing new on the XM4 is the sensor built into the left ear cup for the auto play pause, meaning that when you pull the headphones off your head, they will automatically stop playing whatever you are listening to. Say for example, someone walks up to you and wants to start a conversation, you take the headphones off, they automatically pause, you walk away, put your headphones back on, and they automatically restart. Really convenient feature in addition to the XM4. Also, the active noise canceling performance of the XM4s, I would say is just ever so slightly better than the XM3. Don't get me wrong, very similar, but I'd give a slight nod to the XM4 as Sony's always looking for improvements to their ANC algorithm. One really cool feature of the XM4 is also available through the Sony Connect app is speak to chat. So if you're wearing your headphones and you just simply go to speak, they will hear that, dim down your music and turn on the ambient mode, all totally hands-free and intelligently, which is a really incredible feature and I'm pretty sure the first of its kind. So for all of you who like to sing along to your music, might want to turn that feature off. Sony made a few design changes on the XM4s that improves the overall listening experience. Looking at them, they're virtually identical, but there's a few small things under the hood here. The XM4s are ever so slightly larger in frame compared to the XM3. This also allowed them to trim down the thickness of the upper band just a little bit, and altogether this made them about a gram lighter. A gram isn't much, but hey, lighter is always better. My personal favorite change is that the ear cup is larger on the XM4. Thank you, Sony, for taking care of us big-headed people like me. On the XM3s, one of the buttons is for controlling ambient sound mode as well as noise canceling. That button is now labeled custom on the XM4 as it now has multiple functions. You can give it a short press, a double tap, or a long press and program in the app what you want any of those to do. So even more functionality and controllability on the XM4. Another minor change that doesn't really affect the end user experience, but is there, is that the porting design is a little bit different on the XM4 versus the XM3. You can notice it if you look under the band on the ear cup. And the finish, while very, very similar, this nice soft touch finish, there's a slight difference here. It feels a little bit thicker on the XM4, and there's an NFC logo that on the XM4 is actually embossed onto it as opposed to just printed like it is on the XM3. That tells me that the overall finish is likely a little bit higher quality on the XM4. Nice positive change by Sony there as well.
The XM4 also moves up to Bluetooth 5.0 from the Bluetooth 4.2 of the XM3. Bluetooth 5.0 offers you a higher quality connection, a longer range connection, and the biggest feature of this one is multi-point pairing. That means the XM4 can be connected to two different devices at once and you can get playback from both of those devices at the same time. The XM3 could only pair to one device at a time and go figure that was the most requested feature from users of the XM3 to Sony in their development of the XM4 and Sony has heard you and they have delivered. Also, these both use the Sony Connect app, which you should absolutely positively download, by the way, because it's how you get all the features out of this headphone, and those features are excellent. So check out the Sony Connect app. On the XM4, though, that now implements DSEE Extreme, which is the newest version of Sony's upscaling algorithm, which takes lesser quality music and uses AI to enhance its quality to sound better to your ears. The XM3s have the original DSEE, which was a great system, but DSEE Extreme is even better. It's the next level, and it's the newest feature on the XM4s. I'm going to do a listening test with each of the headphones and try to describe any differences that I hear. I expect them to be relatively similar, but let's see what I find. What I'm going to be using to test is one of my reference tracks, which is Snake Eater by Cynthia Harrell from the Metal Gear Solid 3 soundtrack. Let's try it out. All right, so for the XM3s, I'd say they lean a little bit toward the bassier side of the equation. Maybe a slight roll off on the highs, but not undetailed. Mids are a little bit more recessed, however. They're kind of, what you would expect from a Bluetooth headphone being a little bit more V-shaped in frequency response. But despite being kind of V-shaped, definitely one of the clearer, better presentations of it that I've heard in a Bluetooth product. All right, guys, now I'm gonna do the exact same thing on the XM4s, see if I can notice any differences. Again, gonna be testing with Snake Eater by Cynthia Harrell from the Metal Gear Solid 3 soundtrack. Here we go. Honestly, they both sound really, really similar to each other. So much so that I can't really confidently call a difference between the two. But this is not a bad thing. The XM3s, when they came out, I thought were the best sounding Bluetooth headphone I've heard of their kind. And that continues on into the XM4s. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. The XM3s were a landmark product released by Sony, and they've managed to do even better on the XM4s, taking every aspect of the 3s, which was near perfect to begin with, and somehow finding a way to improve on it even further. You don't want any other Bluetooth headphone. You want this one. I know. So get yourself a pair of XM4s over at skybygramophone.com. This is the one, guys. It receives our highest recommendation for a headphone in this category. If you guys need any help coming up with project ideas, if there's any issues you're having and you need to schedule a service request, or you would just like the advice of one of our hi-fi, home theater, or interior design experts, head on over to gramophone.com. You can find all kinds of resources there that will help you get inspired. Also, if you have any questions you'd like to ask me personally, I'd love to do the best I can to help you out ask at gramophone.com. Also guys, don't forget to stop by one of our showroom locations where you can listen to the XM4s for yourself, either in Timonium, Columbia, or Gaithersburg, Maryland. And while you're at it, don't forget to check out our beautiful Kitchen Design Center in Hunt Valley, Maryland. All right guys, you know the drill by now. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video and drop a comment down below and make sure you subscribe to the Gramophone channel for all of your audio and home theater needs. And don't forget, I want to hear from you. What do you think about the XM4s and what do you need to see from Luke in the future? As always, thank you for watching. Be seeing you.